Game of Thrones is an episodic graphic adventure video game based on the TV series of the same name, which in turn, is based on George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire Fantasy series, released in December 2014 for Android, iOS, Microsoft Windows, OS X, PlayStation 3 PlayStation 4, Xbox 360 and Xbox One. The game was developed by Telltale Games and follows the episodic format found in other Telltale titles, such as The Walking Dead, The Wolf Among Us and Tales from the Borderlands, where player choices and actions influence later events across the six-episode arc. The story revolves around the Northern House Forester, rulers of Ironrath, whose members, including the five playable characters, attempt to save their family and themselves after ending up on the losing side of the War of the Five Kings. The game includes settings, characters, and voice actors from the novels and TV series. A second season had been planned but was placed on hold in 2017, amid restructuring issues at Telltale Games, and ultimately was cancelled following Telltale's majority studio closure in September 2018. <laughs> development After previous video games based on his works received negative or mediocre critical responses, George R. R. Martin opined that he wanted, "...a Game of Thrones game to be made by a studio that knows how to create a thrilling and interesting story." Telltale Games has found critical success in several licensed adventure games, including their The Wolf Among Us and The Walking Dead episodic video game series. Game of Thrones arose from internal discussions within Telltale of what other popular franchises they wanted to write games around, with much support given for Game of Thrones, considering its emotional equivalence to The Walking Dead. They approached HBO with the concept, and after a year of negotiations, were able to secure the license. In December 2013, Telltale announced Game of Thrones at the 2013 Spike VGX Video Game Awards program. George R. R. Martin stated that his personal assistant, Ty Corey Franck, is working with Telltale Games as a story consultant. Telltale's CEO Dan Connors explained that the game will not be a prequel to the television series, that the established world and timeline of Game of Thrones is allowing Telltale to explore fixed stories in more depth, to appeal to players. Gameplay. Game of Thrones is an episodic point-and-click graphic adventure fantasy drama video game, released as six episodes following the model of Telltale's previous adventure games. The player is able to move their character around some scenes, interacting with objects and initiating conversation trees with non-player characters. Choices made by the player influence events in future episodes. The game switches between the viewpoints of five different characters, each episode contains five points where the player must make a significant decision, choosing from one of two available options. Through Telltale's servers, the game tracks how many players selected which option and lets the player compare their choices to the rest of the player base. The game can be completed regardless of what choices are made in these situations. The main events of the story, as described below, continue regardless of what choices are made, but the presence and behavior of the non player characters in later scenes is affected by the choices. The game allows the player to make multiple saves, and includes a rewind feature where the player can back up and alter a previous decision, thus facilitating the exploration of alternative choices. Some scenes are more action-oriented, requiring the player to respond to a series of quick-time events. Failure to do these correctly may end the scene with the death of the playable character or another character, but the game will restart at a checkpoint just before that scene to allow the player to try again. In some instances, failure at particular quick-time events results in minor game decisions. Synopsis. Setting The game takes place concurrently with the television series, from the end of the third season until just prior to the start of the fifth season. The story focuses on House Forrester, a family not yet introduced in the television series, but mentioned briefly in the novel A Dance with Dragons. House Forrester hails from Ironrath, a fortress within the Wolfswood Forest in the north of Westeros, where they control the valuable ironwood groves, coveted by many because of the wood's military importance. 
The game primarily takes place near Ironrath, but also in other locations on the continents of Westeros and Essos. Topic: Characters. Throughout the game, the player controls one of five family members or servants of the Foresters, with decisions made by one character affecting the others, and the ultimate fate of the house. Thirteen original playable and non-playable characters were created for the game. <laughs> playable characters Roderick Forrester Russ Bain, the first-born son of the house and its heir, with a prominent military background. Asher Forrester Alex Jordan, the second-born son of the house who has been exiled to Essos, now working as a mercenary. Mira Forrester Martha McIntosh, the eldest daughter of the house, who serves as a handmaiden to Marjorie Tyrell. Ethan Forrester Christopher Nelson, the third-born son and a scholarly boy serving as the incumbent Lord of Ironrath. Garrod Tuttle Daniel Kendrick, squire to Lord Forrester and nephew to Duncan, exiled to serve in the Night's Watch as a ranger. Non-playable characters Lord Gregor Forrester Robin Atkin Downs, the head of House Forrester and loyal to the Starks. Lady Alyssa Forrester Laura Pulver, the matriarch of House Forrester that vows to prevent the destruction of her family as had fallen to her birth family, House Branfield. Talia Forrester Molly Stone, Ethan's twin, the second eldest daughter, who is gifted with a talented voice. Ryan Forrester Louis Suc, the youngest son of the house. Maester Ortengren David Franklin, a maester of the Citadel serving House Forrester. Esser Royland de Gore Brian George, an experienced military leader that serves as the master at arms for the house. Lord Lud Whitehill Jeff Leasley, the Lord of High Point and longtime rival of House Forrester. Griff Whitehill Sasha Dewan, the cruel youngest son of Lud Whitehill. Duncan Tuttle Robin Atkin Downs, a good friend of Lord Forrester whom he now serves as Castellan. Malcolm Branfield J. B. Blanc, brother of Alyssa and, with her, the only surviving members of House Branfield Elena Glenmore Amy Pemberton, a maiden of Rillwater Crossing and Roderick's betrothed. Sarah Flowers Natasha Loring, handmaiden to Marjorie Tyrell and a close friend to Mira. Beska Tokes Olegundoy, a sellsword from Marine and associate of Asher. Croft Adam Ledbeater, a member of the Second Sons and Asher's friend Cotter Joseph Biderima, a wildling posing as a ranger for the Night's Watch and Garrod's friend. Finn Yuri Lowenthal, a ranger of the Night's Watch and Garrod's friend. Frostfinger Jeremy Crutchley, a grizzled mentor of the Night's Watch. Britt Warwick Alistar James, a mercenary working for House Whitehill. Gwyn Whitehill Laura Bailey, a maiden of High Point and Asher's former lover. Tom Yuri Lowenthal, a coalboy working in King's Landing and friend of Mira Forrester. Rickard Morgren Nick Afka Thomas, a merchant operating from King's Landing and confident of Lord Whitehill. Arthur Quiver Glenmore Matt Littler, Elena's brother and a skilled archer. Andros Robin Atkin Downs, a merchant and Morgren's rival. Tazel Brian George, leader of the Lost Legion and Asher's enemy. Topic. Series reprisals Jon Snow Kit Harington, a member of the Night's Watch and bastard son to Eddard Stark. Cersei Lannister Lena Hetty, the Queen Regent serving in King's Landing and mother to King Joffrey Baratheon. Tyrion Lannister Peter Dinklage, the master of coin serving in King's Landing and Cersei's brother. Ramsay Snow Ewan Rion, a cruel mercenary and the bastard son of Roose Bolton, the Warden of the North. Daenerys Targaryen Amelia Clark, the mother of dragons and the potential future Queen of Westeros, operating in Marine. Marjorie Tyrell Natalie Dormer, a lady of Highgarden, betrothed to King Joffrey. Episodes <inaudible> 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 The game is separated into six episodes, released in intervals. Reception 
Game of Thrones received mixed to positive reviews from critics praising the narrative, choice-driven gameplay, and faithfulness to the source material while criticism was directed towards the graphical glitches and the lack of context for players unfamiliar with the Game of Thrones franchise. Episode 1, Iron from Ice Episode 1, Iron from Ice received generally positive reviews. Aggregating review websites GameRankings and Metacritic gave and the Microsoft Windows version 75 one hundredths based on 44 reviews, the PlayStation 4 version 77 one hundredths based on 18 reviews the Xbox One version 80 one hundredths based on 14 reviews. Episode 2, The Lost Lords Episode 2, The Lost Lords received «mixed or average» reviews. Aggregating review websites GameRankings and Metacritic gave the Microsoft Windows version 73 one hundredths based on 35 reviews, the PlayStation 4 version 69 one hundredths based on 16 reviews, and the Xbox One version 76 one hundredths based on 11 reviews. GameZebo's reviewer noted that Episode 2, in particular, exhibited poor performance on iOS devices, with glitches and stuttering affecting the player's ability to succeed at timed events. Episode 3, The Sword in the Darkness Episode 3, The Sword in the Darkness received «generally positive» reviews. Aggregating review websites GameRankings and Metacritic gave the Microsoft Windows version 77 one hundredths based on 30 reviews, the PlayStation 4 version 70 one hundredths based on 16 reviews and the Xbox One version 80 one hundredths based on 9 reviews. Episode 4 – Sons of Winter Episode 4 – Sons of Winter received «generally positive» reviews. Aggregating review websites GameRankings and Metacritic gave the Microsoft Windows version 77 one hundredths based on 27 reviews, the PlayStation 4 version 73 one hundredths based on 15 reviews and the Xbox One version 80 one hundredths based on 8 reviews. Episode 5, A Nest of Vipers Episode 5, A Nest of Vipers received «mixed or average» reviews. Aggregating review websites GameRankings and Metacritic gave the Microsoft Windows version 74 one hundredths based on 25 reviews, the PlayStation 4 version 77 one hundredths based on 11 reviews and the Xbox One version 72 one hundredths based on 10 reviews. Episode 6, The Ice Dragon Episode 6, The Ice Dragon received «generally positive» reviews. Aggregating review websites GameRankings and Metacritic gave the Microsoft Windows version 70 one hundredths based on 24 reviews, the PlayStation 4 version 75 one hundredths based on 13 reviews and the Xbox One version 80 one hundredths based on 7 reviews. Cancelled sequel The first series proved successful, leading Telltale to begin development of a second episodic season. In November 2015, Telltale's Kevin Bruner affirmed that a second season was currently in development. Telltale's Job Stoffer said in an August 2017 interview that while they were still planning on season two, the series was on hold as focus on their other current projects for release in 2017 and 2018, as well as to see the direction the current television show at the time, nearing the end of its run, goes. However, on September 21, 2018, the studio had a majority studio closure, laying off most of its staff and cancelling its in-development projects, including the second season of Game of Thrones. <laughs>